Hello everybody. So we are now dealing with adding and subtracting rational expressions. So when we say adding and subtracting rational expressions, parehas lang ito sa pag-add and subtract ng fractions. Okay? Di ba kapag naalala nyo, uh, nung high school or elementary tayo, sabi natin we cannot directly add fractions kapag magkaiba yung kanilang denominators. Okay? So this is uh, this is also true dito sa rational expression. Kapag parehas yung kanilang denominator, yung dalawang pinag-add natin, we can immediately add the numerators together and copy the denominator. Nagkakaroon lang tayo ng kaunting problema kapag magkaiba yung kanilang denominators. That is why we need to know how to get the least common denominator or LCD. Okay? Itong LCD, ito ay itipagpadaan, the least common denominator, iso tipagbalinan na, dahil ito ay duwang fractions tayo, tap na agbalin na uh, agpada iti denominators da. Okay? So, I hope uh, you are familiar iti panagala iti LCD. Okay? So, we will go over, ano? We will go over uh, some examples how to get the LCD. Okay? So, these are the steps. Uh, we, we really do not know the steps until we apply it in, in a problem. Ano? So, let us go over some problems. Okay, let us answer this one. 5 over X plus 6 over Y. Okay? So, ito, we cannot directly add these two rational expressions because they have different denominators. Diba? Yung isa, X. Ito namang isa, Y. So, magkaiba sila ng denominator. So, ang LCD nila, LCD, basically, the LCD is just the product of the the denominators. Okay? So, ang LCD natin ay X, Y. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito, gagawin nating X, Y yung mga denominators ng fraction na yan. Okay? So, isa-isahan natin. Ano? Yung 5 over X magiging X, Y na yung denominator. So, anong mangyayari sa numerator? Di ba ang ginagawa natin? X, Y divided by x times 5. So, that's 5y. So, magiging 5y na sa numerator. Okay, we will also do the same sa pangalawang fraction natin or rational expression natin. We have 6 over y. So, magiging xy. Okay, yung denominator. So, xy divided by y is x times 6 is 6x. Okay, so... Ito, parehas na, no? similar fractions na sila. So, pwede na natin silang i-add. Okay? So, 5y over xy plus 6x over xy. Okay? Since parehas na yun, yung denominators nila, we can immediately copy the denominator. Okay? And then add the numerators together. So, 5y plus 6x. Okay? So, ito na yung sagot natin. Naging isang rational expression na lang sila. Okay? So, let us have another example. 5 over 4x squared plus 7 over 6x. Okay? So, kung ililista natin, di ba, uh, how to get the LCD, we get the factors of the denominators. So, so 4x squared, ang factors niya, 2 times 2 times x times x. Yung 6x naman, 2 times 3, diba? 2 times 3 times x. Okay? So, nakita niyo yung ginawa ko dito. Dahil, dahil ito'y 2, inbatog ko kareta kapada ng 2. Ayan? Pero itong 3, awan ka batog na, awan kapada ng factor. Diyan nga to. So, uh, ah, pero dito yung x at nakapada na So, mabalintay yung ikatang na ito yung x dito. 
let us erase this x ilagay natin ibatog tayo yung j and, and then ibaba tayo amin na ito eh. so 2 times 2 times x times x times 3 so, ito ngayon yung LCD if you multiply these things together so 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 so we have 12 x squared this is the LCD okay ibig sabihin nito magiging 12 x squared yung kanilang denominators ngayon si 5 over 4 x squared magiging 12 x squared so 12 x squared divided by 4 x squared is 3 ha? 3 times 5 is 15 Ito naman isa, 7 over 6x being 12x squared. So, 12x squared divided by 6x is 2x times 7 is uh, 14x. Okay, now we can add the two since they are similar fractions or similar rational expressions. So, 15 over 12x squared plus 14x over 12x squared. So, we can copy the denominator, 12x squared, and add the numerators together. So, ito na ngayon yung sagot natin for this example. Okay? Okay, let us try another one. Okay? 5 over x squared minus 4 minus 4 over x squared plus 4x plus 4. So, just like what we did in the previous example, let us factor the denominators x squared minus 4, ang factors niya, since is, this is difference of 2 squares, that's x plus 2 times x minus 2. E yung isa naman, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Ito ay ano, a perfect square trinomial, that's x plus 2 squared. So, x plus 2 times x plus 2. E common sa kanilang dalawa yung x plus 2. So, we'll just bring down ito isa lang. Then x minus 2, then x plus 2. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung LC, LCD. Okay, so we can actually write this one as x plus 2 squared times x minus 2. Okay, so gagawin natin ngayon ito, similar fractions. So 5 over, oh, pwede natin isulat ito in factored form, ano? x plus 2 and x minus 2 okay, magiging okay, x plus 2 squared times x minus 2 okay, so pag dinivide natin yan matatanggal yung isang x plus 2 tsaka isang x minus 2 may matitirang isang x plus 2 multiplied by 5 so that's 5 times x plus 2 okay, ito namang 4 over x squared oh, gawin na natin factored form ito so, this is x plus 2 squared. The LCD is x plus 2 squared, x minus 2. Kapag dinivide natin yan, cancel yung x plus 2 squared. Matitira yung x minus 2, multiply natin kay 4. So, 4 times x minus 2. Tataan. Now, we can add the 2. Uh, I mean, subtract. So, uh, 5, 5 times x plus 2 all over x plus 2 squared times x minus 2 minus 4 times x minus 2 over x plus 2 squared times x minus 2 yan so since parehas na sila ng denominator uh, uh, we can add the numerators. Erase ko na itong part na to. Okay. So let us continue dito. Equals. So 5 times x plus 2 minus 4 times x minus 2 okay, all over x plus 2 squared times x minus 2. Okay. So, we can simplify yung numerator dito. The numerator, we can use the distributive property. So, 5x plus 10 minus 4x plus 8. Then, divided by 
Ito sa ano, uh, okay na yan, naka-factored form na. Then we combine like terms doon sa taas. 5x minus 4x is x, 10 plus 8 is 18. x plus 18 over x plus 2 squared x minus 2. Ito na yung sagot natin for this problem. Okay? And for our last example, we have this one. Okay? 2y plus 1 all over 2y squared plus y minus 1 plus 3 over 2 minus 3y minus 2y squared. So, let us factor the denominators. So, 2y squared plus y minus 1, ang factors niya, Okay, since this is a trinomial, so y and okay? Since minus 1 yan, so plus 1 minus 1. And 2y pala yan, so 2y yung isa, y yung okay? So, plus 1 dapat, so dito yung plus 1, dito yung minus 1. Okay? Then the other one, 2 minus 3y minus 2y squared. 2 minus 3y minus 2y squared. Ito, tingnan ninyo, ano, ang mas na una yung constant term. It's not in standard form. So, pwede natin isulat in standard form uh, at ilabas natin yung negative kasi magiging negative 2y squared ito. Isulat natin negative of 2y squared plus 3y minus 2. Okay, dito na tayo mag-factor. No? So, negative. So, 2y at saka y Negative 2, so negative 2, positive 1. Okay, so 2, 1. So, dito dapat yung positive 2. Dito yung negative 1. Okay, para magiging positive 3 yung. Okay, so those are the factors now. The LCD. 2y minus 1, para silang may 2y minus 1. So, ito negative. So, kailangan natin kunin yung negative. Negative 2y minus 1. Then, y plus 1, y plus 2. And na yung LCD natin. So, let us rewrite the fraction. Kung mga fractions na to in LCD. Gamit yung LCD nila. Okay. So, ito negative 2y minus 1, y plus 1. Then, y plus 2. Isahan na lang, ano? Isang malaking fraction na lang. i na natin agad yung numerator. Okay? So, sa taas, we have 2y plus 1 multiplied by, diba? 2y minus 1, y plus 1 ito. Na-factor na natin yan. So, ang, if we divide this one by this one, meron tayong matitirang y plus 2. Yan yung i-multiply natin. y plus, <coughs> pero may negative dito. Ilagyan natin ng negative. Negative y. So, dito na lang, ano? Negative. Then, plus 3. Multiply natin by. Ito, negative 2y minus 1. Y plus 2. So, ang matitira, y plus 1. Then, let us simplify yung nasa taas. This one is equal to negative 2y squared plus 4y to so foil method ano? plus y plus 2 and then distributive property plus 3y plus 3 divided by negative 2y minus 1 y plus 1 y plus 2 okay and then we simplify itong negative na ito sa taas, pwede natin i-distribute. So, magiging negative 2y squared. Ito, mag, ito pag in natin 4y plus y, 5y. Ito was negative yan. So, negative 5y plus 3y. That's negative 2y. Okay. And then, ito, negative 2 plus 3. So, that's plus 1. Then, divided by negative 2y minus 1, y plus 1, then y plus so, itong negative na to sa baba, pwede nating ilagay sa taas by multiplying the numerator and denominator by negative 1. So, magiging, magchange sign yung mga terms natin dito sa numerator. Magiging 2y squared plus 2y minus 1 
So, matatanggal na yung negative. So, 2y minus 1, y plus 1, y plus. Ito na yung sagot natin for this example.